Hi guys, just thought I'd give you a quick look at what I'm up to in the uh, vegetable, or one of my vegetable plots. I'll give you a quick tour. Okay, first of all, some nice comfrey. Very nice, beautiful. And it spreads, great, just wants to grow. This is also a spreader. Swiss chard, a stelg as they call them here. Just grows and grows, beautiful stuff. Here's a little patch of nice hot peppers coming through. Into some Jerusalem artichokes. Little stand with some peppers underneath them. This is a yakon in a tub. I've got a better one I'll show you in a minute. This is doing all right, but I've got a better one. Okay, tree collards, which have been heavily pruned, but you can see the size of these babies. Wow, big spiders web in there. Made me jump. There's some big spiders this year, actually. I tell you, some very big spiders. Okay, let's keep moving. This is, um, a vine of, well, it's kind of like a courgette, but it's also like a squash. And they last for a long time, and it goes on for a long way, this. There's a couple down here. This is kind of the prime time to pick them when they're this big. If you like them nice and small, we'll pick this one. Just a little twist. Thank you. Nice one. And there's one in here hiding. And if you let them go, they can get really big. Another one up there and there. Quite a few actually. A few tomatoes around. All kinds of things all over the place. Okay. Um, there's some more peppers and a couple more vining. Uh, I think it's a squash in there. It's taken a while to get going. Down there, more melons and some tomatoes that are coming towards the end. That's for another day. This is another Swiss chard here. This is rucula, which has gone to seed. And uh, I'll be coming and collecting some seeds, but probably going to get a lot next year, just self-seeded. This is a beautiful big vine here. Big pumpkin squash type thing. I'll see if I can see one. There's one. I'm trying to find our way in. Not so easy, there you go. Here's a beauty in there. There's a few more it's going right over the bankal. Right down, right down into there. There's some more stuff down there, more stuff over there, boxes, aubergines and peppers and beans, courgettes, a couple of tomato plants. But hey, up here is where I want to focus. So, yeah, I've got some beets in here as well, some tomatoes in here. Lots of tomatoes in here, kind of like a, a mass of tomatoes. Let's have a look. There's some in there. Tomatoes, lots of babies. These are cherries, cherry tomatoes. We've got lots of them. I'm going to prop these up actually to get a bit more sun in there. Tomatoes everywhere. Um, more beans. More beans, I think they should be providing some beans soon. These looking like they've got some flowers on. More rucula, more rucula. A few courgettes down here. Could do with picking. This vine's going a long way. There's another type of vine there. Another one in there, little baby 
there. What I like about the vines is sometimes you can't see them until it kind of dies back or the leaf and then suddenly, boom, here they are. Uh, more tomatoes, more, come on, the same as that one is here and here. So these are tomatoes, cherries, and I think there's a couple of late tomatoes, which are, these ones here, there's flowers on them. These are ground covering tomatoes, so I'm not gonna prune them out. These are really nice. There's some strawberries down here. We just picked some of them, some of the right ones. This is a really nice onion, it, perennial onion. They grow and they grow and they grow. There's some babies that have come off and you just plant them in somewhere else and keep going. They get quite big. Kind of cool. Um, what else? Uh, some greens from last year. Don't remember what this was. Maybe broccoli. I've just kept it in, see what happens. A few potato vines that I didn't get to last year. They've come through again. Ah. A big yacon, beautiful. This is my prime specimen of yacon. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. You can see right down there, it's doing really well. Um, my baby hibiscus. Look at that. Gorgeousness. Lots of hibiscus coming. Nasturtium and borage and echinacea. A um, few things I've forgotten the names of off the top of my head. Calendula. More comfrey. Um, all this self seeded. Calendula and Echinacea. Come round. Haven for the bees. Oh, nice spider. Look at that. Wow. That's a boom. Big shout out to Diamond. Oh, yes. So, what else have we got? Some nice red variety of Swiss chard. So mitt is a hybrid between chard and beetroot. So I've been told, I think. Some nice bugs. Lots of nice bugs in here. Some peppers coming. Nice chili peppers. There you go. Morucula, few. This is a ta tamarillo tomato plant, tomato tree actually. So wisteria, more tamarillo. This is a uh, lamb's quarters, cistus tree, Pol polonia. This is a really nice basil, Thai basil, beautiful. Oh God, I wish I had smell-o-vision. Okay, more beans and peppers. Um, yeah, this is it. Kind of looking really good. Just had a few, few liters of rain. 96, in fact, in a very short period of time. So this really has been, had a really good Good drink. So, all over the place uh, I've got stuff here now. A few lettuce and some more tomatoes. These tomatoes are kind of self-seeded and I kind of think, well, if you want to self-seed, then don't ask me to look after you as well. But they don't need me to look after them. Some nice tomatoes in here. 
Oh yeah. Some more self-seeded stuff around here. More tomatoes. Look at these for self-seeded tomatoes. Polonias, more Polonias. Mahonia, beautiful Mahonia. Black locust. Chestnut. Chestnut. Ginkos. Big shout out to the Ginkos. Prickly pear. Big shout out to the prickly pear. Can't remember what this is called. Let me have a look. Simprevia. Simpreviva. Simpreviva. Always alive. Wow. It's always alive. This is for... Very good for insect bites and herpes. So, if anybody needs some, give me a shout. Estevia. I've got some Estevia somewhere as well. More tomatoes. This is a kind of, this is shown up on its own. I've forgotten what it's called, but these some seeds are com, comestable. You can eat them. And you can make fire from the from the twine. When, you, when it dries, the the fibers are very good for making fire. So that's good. The um, Peruvian grape got quite a lot of them around. A little bit of tobacco. Nice. A few lettuce. What else? Mmm. Lots of stuff. I could show you lots of stuff. In fact, I will. So, guys, I'm going to uh, leave you with the beauty of this beautiful hibiscus with a backdrop of echinacea and the vine in the distance and say, get growing your own food, connect with the earth, Make the big healing, the healing that can only happen when we apply ourselves and we make that connection. Just do the job, do the work and reap the benefits. Enjoy life and I wish everybody the best and I hope that we're all going to go for it more and more and more and more and more and more and more. Take care guys, lots of love.